Hey, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the 3.1.3 firmware with the new Retina. Now, it's really easy. All you guys have to do is go to the description, whichever way it is, and download the 3.1.2 firmware. And if you're already jailbroken broken on 3.1.2, you might already have it, so don't worry about that. And you're going to have to download the new 3.1.3 .3 firmware. So that's it for the firmware you're going to need. And the last thing you're going to need is to download the Red Snow um, 0.9.2 if you want to jailbreak the iPhone first generation, um, iPhone 3G, and um, iPod first generation. Yes, this will not work for the 3GS or the 3G iPod. And if you want to jailbreak the iPod Touch second generation, you're going to want to download the Red Snow um, 0.9.4. And yes, this works on Windows and Mac, but I'll have it labeled really clearly in the description, so you won't get it any wrong at all. And yeah, so let's get started with this. First of all, you're going to have to go into iTunes and update the new 3.1.3 firmware as you can see I'm already updated and that is it after you've updated do it we can go ahead with the jailbreak now just to show you that I'm not fooling around here I'll go on my iPod and as you can see I have Cydia and it's working fine I'll just show you that I'm on the 3.1.3 so no tricks here as you can see 3.1.3 there you go and yeah so let's get started with the jailbreak so all you have to do right now is restore to the 3.1.3 firmware now back on the computer you're gonna wanna go into your red snow folder and I'm gonna be jailbreaking on the iPod touch 2G so that's why I'm using the um, 0.9.4 and it looks exactly the same on Windows, and except you won't have this little pineapple icon. It'll just be like one of those little program icons on Windows. And you're going to want to open it up. Now it's going to ask you to browse for your firmware. Do not browse for the 3.1.3. You're going to want to use a loophole and use a 3.1.2 firmware. So let's do that right now. We're going to click Browse, go to your desktop or wherever you saved it, and click on the new 3.1.2 firmware. Now it'll process the firmware. If it asks if you have a MC model, you can simply figure that out by going into settings, about, and your serial number will start with an MC. And if it is an MC model, you cannot jailbreak it. So I'm not using an MC model, so I will say no. And then you will click next. Now it'll download all the jailbreak data it needs. That's why this program is so lightweight, because it gets all its information from the servers, which is awesome. Red Snow has always been my favorite. Now, if you are jailbreaking, so you've fully restored in iTunes, you're on 3.1.3, you're going to want to click Install Cydia. Now, I've already jailbroken, so I'm going to click Already Pwned. Now, if you watched my video before this, how to jailbreak on 3.1.2 firmware using the older Red Snow, you, got, you probably already know that you can have some options here. You have the option to install verbose mode, which is kind of like a code that comes down when you're booting up. You have custom boot logo, so instead of the Apple when you're turning on your iPod or iPhone, it'll be whatever picture that you want. And recovery logo, so when you connect to iTunes, you know how it has that little iTunes and a USB thing? You can change that as well. Now, for the simplicity of this video, I will not be doing this, but I'll just be clicking next. Now, make sure here that your device is connected to your computer, so my iPod is connected, and it's off. So all you have to do to turn it off is hold down the power button and click slide to power off. Super easy. Probably the easiest part of this jailbreak is turning off your iPod. Yeah, I'm actually sick at home right now. Being sick sucks. Anyway, now that your iPod is turned off, and if you have the problem that I'm having now that your next arrow on the redstone is not working, just unplug your iPod like this and then plug it back in. 
and my iPod. So this is verbose mode right here, if you guys don't know. It comes up with code. So if you want that option, this is what it would look like. It's kind of cool. And, yep. Actually, I'm going to pause the video because my iPod is rebooting, and I'll come back when it is done. Hey guys, I'm back. So pretty much all you have to do, as I was saying, is slide to power off. And you're going to want to put your iPod into recovery mode. So once it's finished turning off, all you're going to want to do is hold down the home button like this. And as you're holding down the home button, plug in your iPod with the cable. So as I'm doing right now, I'm holding in the home button. And I'm plugging in this. It's giving me trouble. And... Just keep on in holding it, and you should get this, um, yeah, and then your iPod should start to jailbreak. As you can see on the computer, it's uploading a bunch of crap. The download jailbreak thing is coming up on my iPod. Really simple. So yeah, sorry about the confusion back there. I don't know, my computer is being weird. And now you're done on the computer, so let's turn our attention to the iPod. As you can see, the little spinny wheels going here. As you can see on the computer, it says done, so you can click finish. It'll exit out of red snow. You're done on the computer. And, yeah, it's downloading jailbreak data. Ah, da -da -da -da. Real simple. It's actually a pretty simple jailbreak. The only problem is you're going to lose all your apps and stuff, so I suggest before you start this jailbreak to back up all your songs, your apps, whatever, videos, to your iTunes. And if you've seen my videos before on how to back up apps, like City Apps, um, there's one called How to Back Up City Apps with Rock. And Rock is like a, it's kind of like City, except it's a bit faster. Personally, I don't like it. I only use it to back up my apps, because you can actually save the apps that you've downloaded onto, um, onto your rock account. So there's a little pineapple running. Pretty much simple, pretty much the same as my last jailbreak video. God will love red snow. I mean it's one of the easiest jailbreaks out there. And yeah, your iPod will start to reboot. It might be a bit slow on the first reboot if you're jailbreaking and you've just restored. See, mine might be a bit fast because it's not it didn't really do anything that jailbreak because it's already jailbroken. See, mine took away my custom boot logos and stuff that I had on there because I didn't choose any. So yeah, it'll reboot. You'll be jailbroken. You'll be happy. Literally, this took me like three minutes, just went to Type in my passcode here. And you should have Cydia. Um, really simple. All you gotta do is download 3.1.2, download 3.1.3, update to 3.1.3, run Red Snow, choose your boot logos if you want them, choose verbose mode if you want them, and you will be jailbroken. You will have Cydia. So that's about it, guys. Just remember that you cannot do this on the 3GS or the iPod. No, yeah, I no. Okay, lost for words here. Can't do this on the iPhone 3GS or the iPod Touch 3G. And if you are doing it on the iPod Touch 2G, you're using Red Snow 0.9.4. But I will have that clearly descripted. So that's about it, guys. Do not, do not, do not forget to rate comment, and please subscribe. I'm getting so many subscribers. I'm really thankful. Let's try to get it up to 400. I'm going to try and go. I have this nice little um, iTunes gift card here. I might be doing a giveaway once we get to 400 subscribers. That's awesome. I might be getting even three of them. It'll be good for you. More chances and stuff. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. As soon as I can figure out how to stop this capture. Oh, there we go. We click stop. All right, see you guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Adios. Peace.